This very nice Emerson TV DVD combination. The screen looks quite sharp and beautiful when you're looking at a dark background like this. It's not bad when you're watching TV, but let's see what happens when we look at it on a white background. So on a white background we can see that there's a big spot in the middle of the screen. The camera is also picking up the lamps. Now what's causing that huge spot? Is that a board problem? I don't think so. Is that a lamp problem? Obviously not. I believe that's a stain on the back of the screen. And so we'll take this apart and see if we can find the stain and see if we can't correct it. Okay, so I've disassembled the TV thinking that the stain might be on one of these one of these lower layers, but that was not the case. The stain was definitely on the front of the LCD, which we're looking at now. So it was not necessary to disassemble the TV. It wasn't on the back, it was right on the front. It didn't look like it when displayed on the computer, but it was. So having nothing to lose, I have spread some talcum powder. This is just talc. And I have rubbed it in like this, hoping to absorb whatever that stain was. It's been on the screen for about 24 hours. And I'm not quite sure the camera won't show this, but it looks different. I don't know how this is going to work. I had nothing to lose. So I think I'm going to vacuum this up, put it back together, and see what we get. Well, I can still see the stain on here. Probably can't see it in the camera. It is less. I don't know how it's going to look. There's still, there it is. Just barely see the outline of it here. And the reason I made this video is because within the past year, most of the TVs that come to me have display problems. And knowing that lots of people don't know what the display panel looks like, I thought we'd take it apart. You can see that there are two layers below the LCD. And the first layer is a very thin sheet. The second layer is a thicker sheet of plastic. And here's our light box down below with four fluorescent tubes. Now here's a interesting thing. See if I can show you this. Earlier we saw, do you see those lines there? Yeah, you can see it. Where each of the tubes is, a yellow mark has been burned into this rigid piece of plastic. That's so strange, because how could these four little fluorescent tubes burn so hot that they've discolored this this white sheet of hard plastic, but they have. So the four horizontal lines that we saw, that's permanent discoloration on this piece of plastic. It's not a board problem. It's not a component problem. It's a display panel problem. It's, 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 it's a plastic problem. So I suppose we could cut another sheet of similar material and that wasn't discolored and, and that might help it a little bit. Now, regarding replacing the display, this is the liquid crystal display itself. So of course this is replaceable. You just can't get it. I like this particular TV. I wish I could get it, but you can't. And this whole light box is called the display panel assembly. It's got the fluorescent tubes. Of course, a metal box. It has these sheets of plastic. You put all this together and throw this on top. We go on top like this after we put it all back together. And that's your display panel assembly. So I'm going to try to reconnect everything and we'll see what happens. It might be a hair better. Let's find out. Well, we've got it all back together. And if you look carefully on the white blazer, that was just the antenna freeze, you can see that the stain is still there. It's not so bad as a television. 
There's nothing else we can do to it to make it any better. And the whole purpose of this video is just to show how the screen came apart and where that stain might be. I was hoping it was going to be on one of those inner layers, but but it's right there on the surface. Now, will additional treatments make it any better? Is it any less than it was? I'll... Uh, hard to say. Uh, but certainly not any worse. And we still have a nice little TV. Just have to put the DVD player back in it. And it's good to go. Thanks for watching.